Hello everyone, what I have here is a Falker bundle and I have loaded a couple of blog modules. The reason for that is because I want to show you how you can customize these modules, specifically this time I want to show you how you can change the color of these lines in the modules. Uh, in this first module uh, there's this line that animates when you scroll to the section. Let's do it once again, you can see it here. And in the next section there is this small one under the title and the line that animates from left to the right when you hover over a blog post. For that we are going to be using master CSS file. Uh, let me first show you how you can open master CSS file and then I'll explain to you what it is exactly and how to use it. You want to go to settings page and then Falker Assistant. Here you'll see open master CSS, change your file button, click that and all the CSS code will open in a new window, copy everything and paste it in your text editor. I use Notepad++ as my text editor and I highly recommend it, it's a free one and a very good one, but you can use any other text editing program of your own choice. As you open this document, you are going to notice that it's really well commented and comments are these texts in green. The comments are instructions for you so you can easily find uh, what you're looking for and I'm going to show you how that works in a moment. But let me first explain what master CSS file actually is. Well that's a file where we have written some CSS code to achieve some additional uh, style to our layouts that we couldn't achieve using module settings only. And of course other purpose of it is so you can easily update the layout as I'm going to show you in a moment. So we want to update uh, the lines on our page so what we are looking for here is a comment that has a line in its title. and. If you read this comment here it says background color for animated lines and that's exactly what we are looking for. Here we have these two blocks of CSS and first one it says background color of the line with the class names as well and the other one is border color. Reason why we have these two blocks is because sometimes we have lines as individual elements on our page and that's when you want to change the actual background color of it. Sometimes we add these lines to existing elements using uh, borders and that's when you want to change the border color. Uh, in this example we are going to update both. So just uh, what you want to do here is simply changing the uh, actual value of the color. I'm going to type green and once you make your updates copy these CSS blocks go back to the page and in page settings you want to paste this CSS inside custom CSS box. Click save and update the page. And now let's preview. And as you can see this line here have changed its color and this one as well. and here on hover it hasn't and we are going to see why right now and what you want to do in uh, these situations is you want to go back to master CSS file and look for CSS that's specific for this very module. Uh, we love the square reveal blog module and we want to uh, find a comment that uh, with the name of this module so open find box by by holding control button and pressing F on your keyboard and then look for a square reveal and here it is so uh, all the CSS again under this comment relates to this specific module and what we're looking here is a border color obviously it's not here here and see and here it is, uh, here's the border top, 4 pixels solid, 
uh, with this blue line let's change it to green then again copy this go back to the page click page settings let's scroll down and paste it here I missed type here green all right fixed click save and update the page and let's see if that did the trick and there you go and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching 